Hey everybody, Chris Eggleston here from GarageRanger.com and in this tutorial we're going to go over a way for you to collect the processing fees when uh, charging your customers for a product or service via Gravity Forms on your website. So uh, I see this a lot, this request coming through a lot from um, uh, people collecting donations, uh, right? You're, you're collecting charitable donations or whatever the donations are for, and the person's donating $10, but you're having to cover cost of processing fees. So that's like 16 cents or something. Um, so you're actually not getting a full $10 donation. Uh, so maybe you want to collect the processing fees as well so that you get the full uh, donation. Now, uh, over at uh, GradRanger.com, we do have a very detailed written out tutorial on how to do this uh, with a few different scenarios. Um, and as you can see, I've got the calculation here as well. Uh, you know, these gift demonstrations of step-by-step -step how to do this, uh, the results uh, from the processor. Uh, and then I have, um, you know, people want to know how can you do this with, with different types of product fields, multiple product fields, fields with quantity. And you can see that the calculation here gets um, quite complex. So the more products, the more variations, the more options, uh, the quantities, all those things uh, really make the uh, formula for the calculation get a little bit uh, expansive and uh, cumbersome. So uh, to simplify things, I'm going to show you how you can do this uh, with the GravityWiz uh, snippet. It's, uh, it's, a, it's a free snippet, so you don't have to worry about paying for it. Um, there should be a link uh, below this video where you can go check it out. The link to this article on gravityranger.com is also below this video. So if you want to go there, go through that article and look at the other uh, options that uh, that are available, you can do that as well. Uh, but let's go ahead and take a look at this and see how it works. Uh, so I've got donation plus fees. Um, so let's say I'm going to do a $50 donation. You can see that I get my $50 plus my processing fee is calculated of $1.80. Uh, and then my total includes both the product and the calculation. Um, and then the same thing would apply uh, for 200 or if I did another amount where I can enter my own $100, I still get my processing fee. Then I can go ahead and process that. Um, as the receiver of the donation, I'll get the full 100. The processor will take the remaining uh, $3.30. So let's look at uh, what this looks like on the uh, back end here. Um, so as you can see, I have uh, my form set up. I've got a standard product field here that's a radio button with multiple choices. Um, I've got the other amount here displayed using um, a choice here in the radio button field with with the other amount option of zero dollars when the user selects that one the conditional logic for this other amount which is a user defined price product field um, is this it, the conditional logic says okay if the user selects other amount then display this field at which point you can enter the amount that you want to donate now the processing fee is also a product field and it's using the calculation field type okay so this is the more complex formula uh, for this. It basically what this says is, okay, um, so take the donation amount, so whatever amount is selected here, add it to other amount, so whatever number is entered here, and then add 30 cents to that, okay? Then you're gonna divide that by this little formula here, oops, sorry, which is one minus uh, 0 0.2, 0 29% no so 2.9% so that's 0 0.029 which is 2.9% uh, and then what I'm going to do once I get that total we're going to subtract that total we're going to subtract the donation amount and the other amount from that total okay if if I left this off what would happen is it would double the donation so if I select $100 it would actually charge $200, okay? So I've got to remove the initial donation amount from this formula to get just to the fees. Okay, so you can see how that's a little bit uh, complex. Um, and again, if you have multiple 
uh, product options or if you have multiple donation options then you've got to keep adding different field merge tags in here and making sure you're using your parentheses correctly so that the right things get done first and so on and so forth so to simplify that we're going to use um, do I have it pulled up here I do not we're going to use the gravity Wiz merge tag uh, add-on um, it, it's a snippet but it is a it is a plugin um, and it's free you can download it there's a link to it on uh, below this video so you can download it and install it like a normal plugin in your WordPress site and then you activate it and what that allows you to do is to cut out all of this here and just use this one merge tag subtotal and then over here same thing cut out that and do subtotal okay so now my calculation is a little bit more simple so now I'm just taking the subtotal which automatically figures out this plus this plus that plus the quantity blah 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 so it, regardless of how complex the form is how many product fields whatever the options are it automatically that's what it does the subtotal calculates all of that it's essentially the same thing the total field is doing um, before uh, before applying any discounts or things like that the subtotal is basically just coming up with I'm sorry the total field is basically just coming up with the subtotal so you'll see that that those numbers would be the same if we didn't have these other uh, parts of the formula so this just takes it's the exact same formula it just simplifies it to where instead of having to add all the different product fill merge tags as I showed you over here it can get convoluted and complex if you have a bunch of options right so I've got product fields I've got products quantities I've got to take this product price I got to multiply it by the product quantity and then I've got to add it to this product and that times that products quantity so you can see I've got parentheses around here so that does that first I got parentheses around here so are you are you yeah overloaded yet <laughs> all right so instead of all that madness let's just use the subtotal merge tag we'll pop that in there and go take a look at uh, the form again okay so we'll add uh, other we'll do 100 see I got the same thing same result 50 I get the same result 10 I get the same result okay so again just a simpler way to do it it does require adding another plugin that's really a simple um, simple bit of code uh, to give you this merge tag functionality but I think it's worth it especially if you're going to uh, have a bunch of product fields or you don't want to deal with the hassle of making sure that your formula is correct because you've got to add you know a ton of different parentheses um, so now one of the other things you can do um, if you want to give the user the option uh, to do the process fee as you can see I don't give them an option uh, the field is just hidden until um, they make a selection here and that's because it automatically adds 31 cents um, to the total even without an actual donation amount and that's just because that's how this calculation is configured so um, without a subtotal this calculation already configures 31 cents so um, what you can do um, as again I have this hidden by conditional logic uh, to show uh, only when a selection is made in the um, donation amount field so what you can do if you want to give the the user the customer the option to pay the fees or not is just simply add a radio button field here and then uh, ask them to cover the processing fees okay and then we're going to go to the processing fee field and we're going to change the conditional logic so will you is yes so we're only going to use this field if they agree to cover the fees and we'll check it out again 
So again, it's not displayed because I haven't made a selection yet. But if I come in here and do 10, you see my total is $10 because that product field is hidden, so it's being ignored. Um, but as soon as I hit yes, it's going to add the 61 cents for that. Okay, if I do no, it takes it away again, right? So if we do other amount, we're gonna get the same thing. Okay, so that's doing processing fees uh, in Gravity Forms, and this will work with any of the payment add-ons. It, it doesn't matter. Um, just gotta make sure that this processing fee is a product field using the calculation field type uh, that you're using. Now, this formula can change. This part of the formula can change. Basically, this is, um, this is a standard fee um, that most processors charge by default. Um, it's 2.9% plus 50, or I'm sorry, plus 30 cents. So if you look at your payment processor, you'll see that their standard fee is 2.9%. So they're gonna take 2.9% of whatever you're collecting plus 30 cents. Um, and that's what this fee, that's what this, this formula is configuring. It's taking, okay, we're gonna add 30 cents to this total and then we're gonna add an additional 2.9% to the total. Um, so that the processing fee can be covered. Um, and the, the nice thing about this is it's a straight uh, a straight um, transaction. So this is what it, let me see, this is what it will look like um, in the payment processor. This is an example from Stripe. Uh, but you'll see that the total amount paid was $1,000, $1,030.18. Um, the fee was thirty dollars eighteen cents. So the net was it. So it was just a straight, straight cover. So the processing fee was taken right out, and then you're left with the actual donation amount. Okay. Um, so you could do this. Oops, sorry. You could do this a different way if you wanted to even simplify this more. You could just say subtotal times point zero three minus subtotal which would add um, a 30 cent, uh, I'm sorry, a 3% fee uh, to the total, um, but it's not gonna be clean once you get to the processor. So you still, you'll still be short um, uh, on the donation. But this right here is a clean process um, so that you make sure that the processor's taking their percentage, and again, you can adjust these Right, so if your processor takes 2.9 um, plus 50 cents, you can change this. Um, if they're 3% plus 30 cents, you can change it, and it will work as well. Um, so you can you can modify that as needed, uh, but I'm pretty sure most payment processors are at uh, 2.9 um, 2.9 plus 30. Um, but anyway, so that's that's how it would work. So if you have any questions about that, feel free to uh, use the comments below um, this video. You can go over to gravityranger.com again uh, using the link in the description where this, this article is posted and uh, ask your comments there. Uh, if you want, if you need more detail or another scenario, there's other options as well at the bottom of the tutorial, other solutions you can use. This is the one we just covered, the subtotal merge tag, uh, which, as I show, takes this and makes it this. Uh, but then you've got uh, another one here, the Gravity Was e-commerce field add-on, which adds some additional fields that could also be useful in doing uh, processing as well. So I appreciate you watching. Hopefully this is valuable and uh, insightful for you. If you have any questions, again, feel free to use the comments wherever you are. And uh, until the next time, uh, be good, have fun, build something awesome, and we'll see you in the next video.